I want you to imagine that you are in this department. You've completed the survey and now you're going to see how your students responded. This is the main menu of our system. Since you're looking for some overall information, you'll likely start with the executive summary. Your first look at the executive summary shows that your department's overall program effectiveness is yellow. Your score is a 5.27 on a 7 point scale, so not too bad, but you likely want to dig deeper. The survey has factors, sets of scaled questions, typically three to five questions, that are validated and tested to measure high level topics or areas. So a likely next step would be to drill down to the various factors to get further insights. This screen shows the overall program effectiveness again at the top, but it also shows all the survey factors in order from highest mean score to lowest mean score. As head of the department, you're likely thrilled to see that satisfaction with student staff is high. Safety and security is also good. Community environment, sense of community, etc. all make you happy. You might want to dig into those later, but your attention likely goes to the bottom of the list. Facilities may be one that catches your attention. Remember, I mentioned that this scenario was based on a real campus. The director told us that the campus had facilities that were older, so knowing that, you aren't surprised by a low score on facilities. But maybe digging further might help you understand if there are any opportunities to improve. Let's drill down to the specific questions in the facilities factor. As you look at the questions, the scenario gets more interesting. The cleaning staff are well liked. You likely want to share this point with the staff to celebrate. By the way, the real director told us this information invigorated staff, who had been discouraged by the older state of the buildings. As you look through these, you notice there may be an issue with timeliness of repairs. This could be something you pass along to head of maintenance. Maybe you know that the cleanliness concerns likely stem from older facilities, which just don't look new and sparkling. So you plan for some paint updates over the summer, but let it go for now. Notice how quickly you got from high level results down to specifics and actions. You have three next steps on this item. Celebrate with staff, pass the timeliness concern to head of maintenance, revisit paint or other updates for summer upgrades.